pursued, okay? Mm -hmm. the, but it, I'm talking about the, you know, the, yeah. the Ivy League. Now, I'm encountering these graduates, okay, of Harvard, Yale, University of Pennsylvania, and Princeton. I encounter them in the media, okay? And, I, and they, people in their 30s now, some of them, okay? Their minds are like jello. They know nothing. They've not been trained in history, okay? They have absolutely no structure to their minds. They're, they're, their emotions are, are unfixed, okay? It's, so it's in the banality of contemporary cultural criticism, okay, of academe, okay, the, the absolute collapse, okay, of any kind of, uh, of intellectual discourse in the U.S. is the result of these colleges, okay, which should have been the, the best, okay, and have produced the, the finest minds, instead of having retracted into caretaking. The whole thing is about approved social positions and, and, a, and a kind of misty love of humanity, okay, without any direct knowledge, okay, of, his of history or economics or, 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 or anthropology. Here, uh, you know, I, I, I can feel, okay, the vacuum, okay, right. in the in the nothingness, okay, of American mm -hmm. cultural criticism at the present time. It is impossible. And is that to, is any journalist of today, an American yeah. journalist, you cannot have any kind of a deep deep discussion of is ideas. Is that just a kind of hyper exaggeration of the American disease, which is that we've never, and I mean, this goes back to you know early American literature, literary criticism that we're you know we're people who come from nowhere and we don't care about the past. We're we're freed from the burdens of the past, but we yes. don't care about. The yes, past. yes, I, I think this is true. The, pre, the the past is always present, okay, in Europe to the, to the extent that you're in Berlin, you can see the, the bullet marks right. still on the buildings from World War II, and so on. It, it's a terrible burden, okay, to, to have to have that there. Okay, I, I think Americans are far more ingenious and, and open and, and daring. Okay, on the other hand, uh, you know, the nature of our politics too, the way we have we we, we, we keep on having this this like the, the two big parties with their big tent and their their their, their internal gradations, you know, of, of affiliation. Whereas people abroad, okay, have a, have a, have a much more sophisticated uh, idea about about your a person's specific intellectual and political positions. Mm -hmm. They can identify, you know, because they'll have thirteen parties, you know, yeah. con conflicting okay, in parliament and, wow. and so on. Uh, it'll I'd be like interesting to see whether um, whether the young people, okay, you know, uh, have the kind of old style. Uh, uh, sense of identification with Democrat or Republican. I, I have, I have the sense. It's not entirely a comfortable sense, okay? That um, you know that my students have slowly morphed away from even paying attention to politics mm -hmm. over the past, let's say, fifteen years, and it's worried me because because the you know, the, the uh, crises around the world are actually intensifying, and how are the, you know how are they going to cope as a generation? Well, well I'm, I'm just concerned if you're not interested at all in, mm -hmm. what it, what in the in the news or, or in you know mm -hmm. in, in, in political sparring and in maneuverings and so on. Then how can you possibly have any influence on you know on the future? I, I, I'm I'm worried that we're heading toward a kind of Big Brother um, empire, okay, where you where you have the people you know the sort of career politicians at the top uh, in, in league with the with the you know, puppet masters of the media, okay, the ability to you know to manage the news, the the the, the complete drop of, of journalistic standards now that the newspapers are, are like vanishing. I mean, I might, no young person reads a newspaper, okay, that, mm -hmm. that's on the way out. So without without staff, you know of investigative reporters, how are you ever going to be able to get you know in-depth stories that might take a year to, to research? You know, so we're at a period now of instant news, but and that, the, the people who are reporting the news and writing the news don't even bother to say they'll just report what a government yeah, official no. says as if it's the truth. You don't even mm. have have the have you know a disclaimer like but, uh, such as an official claimed. Okay, you yeah. just have a t total it, it, it's a, whatever what, you know from t the media is acting as a total mouthpiece. Okay, and that and that bothered me during the run up to the Iraq War. I was like the only person who spoke out yeah. in Salon at, at length, okay, against the Iraq war. Everyone fell down on, you know, flat in front, in front of what the government was saying. Okay? I'm constantly monitoring the main forum, okay, right. of things. You know, I try to start with something that's, that's in the news and, and, and I'm able to monitor how aware my, the students are, okay, and I'm telling you, over the last 15 years, step by step by step, okay, there is it's getting worse and worse and worse. I mean, I know, your, I know yeah. if I were at Yale or you know or at Harvard, I'm sure the pre-law students are constantly yeah. monitoring the news, and they would know exactly what, what I'm talking <laughs> right. about. You know and when you, uh, you know when uh, Hillary and, and her you know Valkyrie warriors <laughs> uh, like you know got got us into Libya. I yeah. I would, didn't I didn't notice okay anything okay I was absolutely yeah. I wish I had in my salon column. 
yeah. to condemn that. Okay, because here's the end result. Okay, the total right. destabilization of Libya. Okay, so yeah. I know it, there wasn't a, a please. There was nothing. Okay, everyone everyone fell down flat in front okay, of that so one like too. So like a sense of spectatora yeah, is is important. Uh, what else goes into was, the he, perfect? He, he, was, he had been in the military. He had been in the navy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. the point is that's that's another thing that's a problem now. Okay, with mm-hmm. with with, uh, with with contemporary politics is that in in America the whole generation of of, of men that mm-hmm. had experience in the war, the realities of war, and had been abroad, you know, had experienced the horrors and so on. It's, it's going. And so we have all these guys who are products of, of Ivy League schools and this Harvard and Yale concentration of stuff. It is, this is not good. Okay. Whereas in England, there's a tradition, of course, of the upper class, including the royal family, going to, in, right. to uniform. Okay. So there's a sense of commitment. Okay. Uh, the mm-hmm. ruling class has a sense about war okay? and, and military history and, and, mm-hmm. uh, and of sacrifice and so on. Now we have you know, an entire you know, country, of, the governing class has no it has, we're not going to have this professional army, and so this, the, you know, so that the you know the, the sufferings and the losses, okay, you know, are 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 being are shut down on, onto others. And this is very dangerous to me, okay, because because war is your encounter with historical reality and with elemental realities of life and death. Okay, so it, that to me is the explanation of the problem also with the, with the left. Okay, is that you know that that, that, that be, because of the tra- this transformation, this slow change into this uh, middle class culture that we inhabit now, the shrinking of the industrial base, okay, the migration of, of, of you know, of factories overseas, um, what, what is meant is that leftism has become totally armchair rhetoric, okay, with no direct contact with, with real working class people. Oh. Okay, now that is it a bad thing if we don't have working class people? Well, working well class I mean, I, I think that it gives me, okay, my, you know, my, yeah. you know, there's a sense of grounding because my, but you didn't my family, work in a factory, my, right? my, 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 my grandfather, my grand, grandparents' generation, all four, all four yeah. grandparents were born in Italy, right. okay, on the, in, in the countryside, they were farmers. Yes. Okay, all right. My mother was born there too. Okay, okay. they came over here. One grandfather worked in the shoe factory. Okay, and I was like you know, living in their home. Hey, but the, uh, the but you're was a free riding. You're free riding on. Uh, you know, my father yeah. was. Yeah. yeah, I mean, all of our parents were. No, you know, this, factory. This workers. is the difference. Okay, okay. 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 To me, in, in in the in the leftists yeah. okay, that I know in academe, they mm-hmm. they don't have this experience. Mm-hmm. They have never had any direct experience of working class life. Most of them, right. almost overwhelming. But the leftists of the '60s did. Mm-hmm. Okay, their parents, okay, this, like mine, okay, they had had experienced the social mobility. Okay, mm-hmm. so my, you know, all of a sudden, okay, yep. you know, I, I was born. My, my my father was in college. Okay, mm-hmm. so I, and I lived in this factory town. This is my my first home. Okay, my grandfather came back from the factory every day. There was the, 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 mm-hmm. the factories dominated for Andy Warhol also. It's right. a very similar sure. thing in Pittsburgh. Okay, mm-hmm. and so on. And so you get this populist feeling. Okay, you know, when you emerge from, you know, from that, and, we, and then my father became a high school teacher, and eventually he became a college professor. It was long afterwards. I didn't have a television. Mm-hmm. Or, t- or you know, or a t- or telephone right. until I was twelve. Okay, so, for heaven's sakes, we didn't have any money. Okay, so the point is, this gives you reality, gives you a sense of practicality. I, I, I'm like, with, I'm just one generation removed from the farmland. Okay, etc. Right, and this is the, what's missing. This, this, the, the middle class academic. You know, uh, 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 leftists. Yeah. Okay, uh, you know uh, all these people. They, they know nothing actually. Okay, but they have this distant sense of the working class, very condescending. Okay, mm-hmm. about work. You know, from, you know, and, and they are somehow empowered. They are, are destined to help. Okay, from the from the point of view of you know of, of an intrusion of state authority. Okay, so, this, this vast complex. You know, this of this this octopus of state authority that's going to help. You know, the poor people. Okay? So does does yeah. something does a similar dynamic work, or how does that work on the right? Or do you, or you're not that oh, interested yes, in it because yes, you're no, coming I, out of a lot. I, I, I feel there has definitely been a kind of a fossilization, okay, of uh, of, of authentic analysis, a kind of jibing, joking, snide thing about Obama and so on. I mean, I hated that about Bush and I hated it about Obama. Okay, this thing about this is the president. Okay, I, he should be. I, I don't care what errors they make, and both of them made, made two huge errors. They, 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 that, the you know the you know the position of president should be treated with some dignity. This this degradation, you know, of prestige of of our of our of our you know, institutions is like is very bad. Okay, the cynicism, the snarkiness. Wait, you attack. The... You attack. You criticize. You don't demean. Okay, I, I, I don't want. I don't need this. No, mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I, it fatigues me to read. Okay, and I and I, I love to read the commenters okay? yeah. because I, I, yeah. I think it's a whole new genre now. And and the and the and the you know the jokes with Obama's name, Obama, right. and this yeah. and that, and Obama, and, and or or Romney as mittens. You know, yeah. all this stuff coming. That's coming from the you know from the from the Tea Party and so on. Oh, 
by the way, I, res I respect the Tea Party. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't demonize them. Uh, but um, no, there's, there's a way of, of um, just like snide way. Now I enjoy anti-Hillary, uh, uh, you know, jibes. <laughs> I think that's a whole art form. Okay, wait, I collect now, those. To, I collect to, those. What What is it about? Is Hillary Clinton kind of the, your worst nightmare uh, as a woman? No, she's, she's, she's exactly my age. Yeah. Okay. I feel I know her completely. Okay. Right. She, her, 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 you know, she has some Scranton, you know, background and so mm -hmm. on. In fact, we are. Our accents almost kind of kind of the same, and so on. I understand her completely. Okay, all right. So I, I see all the you know the games and the in the you know the falsehoods and, and so on and so forth. So I've I've enjoyed. I've made an entire career practically out of right. my. In fact, I wrote a what the cover story for the New Republic was what was it? Ice Queen, Drag Queen. That was 1996. Mm -hmm. I think it was yeah. like way back there. And so so on. what is it about Hillary that bothers you? She's a fraud. You right? Okay. Yeah. She's like, Explain she, how is she a fraud? She, she, it, it, it's like she can't can't have an opinion without poll testing it and so mm -hmm. on. All right. She's a liar. Okay. She you know she. Um, has uh, this is not a, a strong candidate for president for our first woman president to me Diane Feinstein she, uh, should uh, have pre presented herself. What, are you no, kidding? No, I don't care what what I don't care what. Okay. I don't care what her views are. Okay, what I'm saying is, to, to, for the post of president who, that's commander in chief, right. okay, of the military, it's got to be a woman, okay, who has a familiarity with military mm -hmm. matters, okay, and also has gravitas. Yeah, right? talk a little bit about the. F and what, Diane Feinstein, I, you know, so I first became aware of her, okay, after the, those murders that right. occurred, okay, in City Hall. Okay? She certainly she, never let you she forget can, that she, she was there. No, but I have never forgotten because yeah. it was one of the great moments a woman took charge, okay, mm -hmm. of an scene of absolute chaos, mm -hmm. okay, in bar barbarous murder, okay, all right, mm -hmm. and the whole. And the whole government was like falling apart, and she came to the media and mm -hmm. gave the news, okay, and it was steady. And I said, that's it, okay, that's the formula, I was mm -hmm. like, for the first woman president. It's my duty to make this announcement. Both Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. Oh, Jesus Christ! The... Suspect is Supervisor Dan White. How do you communicate? How do you use the media to communicate? Okay, mm -hmm. okay so it's up to a, for a woman must communicate. She's going to be a, a woman president. Right. She must communicate both strength. You know, reserve and yet compassion. Okay, what's that formula? And I've been waiting and waiting mm -hmm. and waiting for the formula. The only one who's had it in, in America, as far as I'm concerned, was Diane Feinstein. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, and and she didn't put herself forward for whatever reason. Okay, as president, but Hillary does not have it. Okay, no. Hillary is a mess. Okay, and, and we're going to we're going to reward with the presidency a woman who has enabled him. Okay, you know the the, the, the depredations and the in the you know, and the exploitation of women. Okay, by by that by that you know, by that you know. Corn pone husband of hers, and so on. I mean, it's like the, the way feminism uh, feminists have made themselves blind, okay, to to Hillary's record, okay, mm. of of you know of, of trashing. You know, they were going to try to destroy Monica Lewinsky, right. and so on. I mean, it's a scandal. Anyone who believes in sexual harassment guidelines, okay, should have seen that the disparity of power between Clinton and Monica Lewinsky was one of the most grotesque ever, okay, in the history of, of sex crime. Okay, he's a sex criminal, okay, and so on. Uh, we're we're going to put that guy back in the White House, okay? She, this, this Hillary has ridden on his coattails. Yeah, yeah. She, this is not a woman who has her own <laughs> career, made her own career. She, you know, she's a woman who failed yeah. the bar exam in Washington, okay? All right, she couldn't. Yeah. The only reason she went to Arkansas, okay, and got a job in the Rose Law Firm was because her husband was, you know. Was All right.